Hey DIYers, Jared with the Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to talk about which uh, cellular communicators work with the Honeywell Vista 20P. Now the uh, cellular, there's a bunch of cellular communicators out there that you can choose from, uh, but if you're going to be using a new cellular communicator, the only ones that can be activated for monitoring currently are the LTE uh, communicators. Now um, if you wanted to get a new communicator, then you're, you're going to want to purchase the LTE ones, and there's also dual path uh, LTE communicators available as well. Now, if you're looking to uh, set up monitoring for the system, using uh, an LTE communicator is very reliable and it's, and it's very nice to be able to have with the system. Because if your internet were to ever go down, um, you don't have to worry about not being able to uh, connect with your system or the system communicating with your central station. The LTE service and the, uh, the cellular service is going to uh, stay up and active and it will be able to um, notify the central station if the alarm were to be triggered. Now, if you wanted to be able to set up uh, LTE communication for your system and monitoring, um, there are you would have to choose a monitoring plan uh, that were, that supports the cellular communication for the system. Now, if you're an alarm grid customer, um, you can choose between different uh, plans that support the cellular service. Uh, you'd be basically looking at the gold plan and up. Um, and then if you're looking at the self-monitoring plans, then you'd be looking at the self-gold plan and up. Uh, to look at more detailed information about the uh, different plants and everything, uh, just check out the link below uh, this video. And um, also, if, if you wanted to be able to set up monitoring um, without uh, any interactive services on your phone, uh, via, whether it be uh, Alarm.com or Total Connect 2.0, uh, you can be set up with the cellular-only monitoring plan as well. Uh, you just have to uh, give us a call if you want to take a look at it. But if you want some more information, there is uh, a link below uh, this video as well, so you can take a look at that. So, as I said, there's a, there's a couple of different cellular communicators that you can use with the Vista series, uh, with, with the Vista panels, um, but unfortunately the only ones that are able to be activated currently um, are the LTE communicators. Uh, the reason why is because uh, the cellular companies are currently shutting down the 2G and 3G networks. Um, some 2G networks are still active, but uh, they're going to be shut down within uh, tw probably around 2022. Um, now. LTE is going to be around for a very long time. The cellular companies have promised um, that the LTE is going to be supported uh, for a while. And even so, the LTE communicators only recently came out this year. Uh, so they're going to be useful for a very long time compared to the uh, 3G communicators. So as I was saying about the activations for the 3G communicators um, and also the LTE communicators, the 3G communicators are, uh, are no longer able to be activated anymore if they're brand new or if, or, or if the SIM card was deactivated. This is because the alarm monitoring platforms have uh, recently blocked off uh, any new activations for 3G communicators. Um, this also goes for 4G non-LTE communicators as well um, as they are technically using the 3G network. And um, unfortunately, those will not be able to be activated as well. Now, if you already have some of these uh, 3G, uh, possibly 4G communicators set up, then uh, they will still be able to be, uh, you know, monitored and everything uh, for the time being, uh, up until 2022. That's when the, the shutoff is going to happen for the uh, for the 3G and 4G and. Uh, unfortunately, those will not be able to be used after that. But if you do have those set up, then they will still be able to be monitored. Um, and But if you wanted to reactivate them or set them up with or, or activate them with another company or anything, then um, unfortunately, those will not be able to be set up. Um, there's a possible procedure in order to do so, but don't have your hopes too high because unfortunately, the, the, the 3G and 4G cutoff coming up. So if you were looking, uh, if you're looking to set up an LTE communicator, there's a couple of different ones available. Um, there's the LTE um, XA and the Honeywell LTE XV, which uh, the LTE XA is a an AT&T LTE cellular only communicator, and the LTE XV is a Verizon LTE cellular only communicator. Um, there's also the LTE IA, which is an AT&T LTE dual path communicator, and then the LTE IV, which is uh, a Verizon LTE uh, dual path communicator. So either one of the communicators that you could choose from, whether it be the LTE IA or the LTE IV, um, they will allow your system to be able to connect to the Alarm 360 servers. And uh, they, it can connect to the Alarm 360 servers, whether it uh, be through an internet connection or a cellular connection. Uh, now, if the alarm signals are being sent, you know, if the alarm were to be triggered and is sending the alarm signals, um, then it is normally going to uh, be sent through the internet connection first. Um, and if anything were to happen to the internet, it will then send the signal through the cellular. 
Um, this is obviously if you have both communication paths enabled at the same time um, so that you, know, you can make sure that either one, um, whichever communication path the signal is being sent through, it is going to reach the central station. This is, always, this is also why we do recommend having a cellular connection uh, so you can make sure that you have that redundancy. Now another option for a communicator um, is called the Telguard TG1 Express. Uh, this is a communicator that you can set up uh, with the system that connects to the, to the panel's phone dialer. And um, when the alarm signals are being sent, um, this, the panel thinks that it's, gonna, it's dialing out through a uh, plain old telephone line or uh, P POTS, which is plain old telephone service, and um, it's actually being sent uh, through a cellular connection instead of uh, through a phone line. So um, it does allow your system to use a cellular connection with the system. Uh, it, it does allow your system to use a cellular connection um, because it is a lot more reliable. But keep in mind that if you're using this communicator, uh, you're not going to be able to use Total Connect 2.0. Uh, if you wanted to be able to use an interactive app with the system, then you're going to have to use a similar interactive app that uh, comes with the Telguard, and it's, it's called the Telguard Home Control Flex. And um, uh, you know, you'll be able to control the system and everything uh, remotely, but it will not be the same service as Total Connect 2.0. So if you wanted to set up a communicator with the system, but you don't want to use a cellular connection with it, um, then you can use uh, what's called the Honeywell 7847i. This is an internet-only communicator which uses an Ethernet connection. Um, it doesn't connect to your Wi-Fi, but it does allow your system to use just an IP-only connection. Um, now just keep in mind that if you're using an IP connection only, um, it is more prone to uh, be, you know, go down and not be as reliable than using a cellular connection. And this does include, you know, if your in, if your power goes out and shuts off the modem, um, if you're if you have an internet issue in the area and you have no internet in uh, at the time being, um, or if your modem just goes bad and you have to get a new one. So um, the thing is with just using the internet connection, it's it, can, it has a probability of going down more than using a cellular connection. This is why here at Alarm Group, we normally do recommend that you use a cellular connection. So you can make sure that you have the redundancy and uh, you, know, you have the security for your home just in case if anything were to happen. So now we've gone over the options of which cellular communicators you can use with the Honeywell Vista 20P. If you have any questions about the Honeywell Vista 20P or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with the Alarm Grid. Have yourself a great day.